And here he comes. Be careful. All clear. That's it. Heart rate stable. If we don't use human DNA now, someone else will. Regulators, politicians, they tear us to pieces. We're gonna go to jail for this. Human cloning is illegal. This won't be human. Not entirely. It's coming out. It's not due for months. Slippery. It's... What was that? A mistake. Hi, I'm Kat. I'm Mike. And I'm Jason. And today, we're going to be talking about that lovely movie, Splice. 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 <laughs> Sound like a velociraptor. Yeah, look at these new Skittles. Pink on the outside. Give us a taste. <coughs> What's in it? Watermelon. Revolting. So, as you guys know from the preview, it's about these two scientists that basically forge ahead unbeknownst to their company and make a part human, part animal clone. And it's about, you know, what happens when that happens, consequences and everything, and what could go wrong. That's how I was born. It's starring Adrian Brody and Sarah Pauly as the scientists. Sarah Pauly's Canadian! Yay, Canadians! Woo! And it's directed by Potential Project Natal. Vincenzo <laughs> Natale, who is, I believe, Canadian as well. Yes. Oh, very famous for... Cube. 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 Did, did art direction on, like, Babar and the adventures of Tin Tin and stuff like that. The He's... elephant Babar? The Babar. Huh? Yeah, all those Canadian cartoons. It was good. How many times can an elephant go to the park? I don't know. Why is he wearing a suit? Because he looks good in it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it either, man. Elephants got a good memory, you know? They never forget. Give me my friends memory. forget all the time. Delphine Shinnick, I'm probably saying it wrong, sorry, but she plays Dren in it, the clone. She does a great job. I yeah. think it must have been hard to do that because I'm sure she was wearing funny bodysuits and whatnot yeah. to hide certain things, a CGI over it later on. Like most of the performance is in her face, like her eyes are separated and everything, but she did and an excellent job. And they her contacts and everything. Yeah, and Jason wants to have sex with Dren. He really does. I would. So I can't decide whether I like this movie. Like I did not like it. I didn't yeah. think it was terrible. Yep. Yeah. But I didn't walk out being like, oh, I was really good. I walked out kind of being like, huh, human cloning could eventually happen. Yeah. Well, and they're, they're toying with it. And there's actually uh, petitions and whatnot going on right now to try and either get it to happen or get it to not yeah. happen. And the reason why they want to get this done in the movie and in real life is because it could possibly cure cancer and other diseases. diseases. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. That's ADD. Good. I found that there were enough scenes that I was kind of like, I felt really awkward. That's, I guess, the only way I can explain it. There were enough scenes that I was like, oh, I feel weird watching this. Yes, yes. I want to kind of... But at the same time, it's a compelling story. Like, mm. you definitely want to stay and find out what happens. The, the best way of explaining it to you guys without giving anything away, the first and second act are amazing. It's so engaging, and you're like, I can't wait to find out what happens next. And the third act, for me anyway, was just very predictable. I kind of saw it coming from a mile away. I think it fell apart in the end. I really believe that the first and second act of this movie probably some of the best sci-fi that I've seen in a long time. Just yeah. the actual science behind mm. splicing a human Gina with this other entity. Really amazingly done. When it was born, it was so cute. And then you see it grow up, evolve. evolve. Like it is sci-fi, but it has a lot of other things in there too. Like horror. There's drama, horror. So you don't really know what to expect in each scene. Jay, what are your thoughts on the movie? Oh yeah, lots of it was filmed in Canada, which is super cool. Yeah, Canada. So if you haven't seen Cube, I suggest to go out and rent it before you go see this movie so you can see the director's first Canadian success. Yep, Blockers. which would, which hardly ever happens. He went out there and got $27 million to make this movie, which is unheard of. If you're in Canada and you get $27 million to make a movie, you must be a superstar. Mm -hmm. We're still trying to get that much money. $27. Yeah. They called us, by the way. Yeah, what did you say? No. No deal? Never gonna happen. Blame you. Why? Is it an ethnic thing? Yep. So he got $27 million to make his perfect picture. I think that it's probably one of the best sci-fi horror films ever made by a Canadian. It's spectacular. I loved all of it. I loved it all. The best part about the movie, believe it or not, was the special effects. Probably the best production value I've ever seen in a Canadian movie. Yeah. So you could tell that they spent a lot of time with Sarah Pauly and Adrian Brody on how to handle those scenes. Mm -hmm. And there's no moment in the where you think it's like silly. There's no moments where no. you're like, 
Oh, that just looks silly. I it's think like a puppet. That's also, that's not just effects. It's Sarah Pauli and Adrian Brody. They're yeah, they're really they great. Sell it for like, sure. Sarah oh, Pauli's great in everything that she does. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. You got two major talents, then you have this director who's just dying to get his hands on some real money to make a movie, and I think it turned out yeah. amazingly. There's only a few moments here and there that I felt, ah, yeah, it's cliche. Yeah. But the scares were great. Mm -hmm. And the twists were good. Like, yeah. the story writing was fabulous. But then on the other end, there's some things that you saw coming. A mile away. Oh well, yeah. You're supposed to get into that mode, and you're supposed to feel weird, and you're supposed to think like, is this good? Is this bad? Is she hot? Yeah. I thought she was hot. It also questions what makes us human, too, because this new creature comes to Earth, basically, that's created through them, and you're like, what's the difference, really? That's what I ask myself uh, every time I look at you. What is the difference between a good-looking man and a not-so-good-looking man? It's not much. Just pretty eyes and a smile. What was that? Was that crush? <laughs> Manpower. Your love. Oh. Love to you. Tastes like pennies. So all you guys give this movie out of 10. I gave the movie an 8 out of 10. It's solid 8. The horror and the suspense, great. Great, great, great. The acting's amazing. <laughs> the writing is amazing. Yeah. Best production value in a Canadian film. You got that whole uh, sci-fi and horror genre mixed together. And it gelled perfectly. I give it a 7.5. I didn't enjoy it quite as much as you, because it made me feel really awkward at a lot of parts. Uh, but yeah, I agree with everything else that you said, totally. I give it a 7.5 as well. I just found the ending, the third act, a little predictable for my liking. But other than that, everything else is so great. I don't uh, agree with the ending. With his... You don't agree with my ending? Okay, that's fine. I think the ending was decent. Yeah, it, it was... wasn't spectacular, but... And uh, I just felt like the, the character one of the characters didn't learn the lesson mm. of the movie in the end, which was kind of, I'm like, what was the whole point of this movie then? Anyways, that's why I gave it a 7.5. Um, I feel like there must have been an ending in there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, great. There's and Bring the reason, up. sorry, Jesus Jay, you Christ. go first. Well, I was still talking. You should have cut me off. All right, keep going. No. Jake, Jake, oh, I'm turn? Yeah, you're going. Thank God.